by selecting a preset for your jersey and consider the colors you want to use in your theme. You can select from NBA team color palettes or find the perfect variation yourself. There are patterns you can browse through and then individually modify neck, shoulder, and side colors. Use the right stick to rotate the player's view. Bring everything together. Format your player's name, jersey font, and image layers. All the choices are yours here. Where to place the image, scale the size, and coordinate those colors one more time. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a quick glance outside the arena here in downtown Atlanta. TGIF, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. We're bringing it to you live. And on tap tonight, it's the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Brooklyn Nets. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, Trey Young has confidence shooting from just about anywhere. He calls it off the bus range, explaining whenever you step off the bus, you can shoot it. That's my range. I practice it everywhere. I shoot. I've worked on it before. Guys? Well, and it's tough for defenses to stop, Allie. Thanks for that. And towards the end of this year, a great time to check out our rookie race. Which newcomers have made the biggest impact on their teams? You look at Johnson, there were a few bright spots during the season for him, but overall, just not enough to bring him up towards the top. And even if he's not at the top of the list, he deserves a lot of credit for what he's done in this rookie season. Well, he starts with the effort. He's really competed all year long. That's what the coaches have talked about. And obviously he has a few things to work on, but the future, it's a bright one. And the starting lineup for the Nets. Kevin Durant is out there with Edwards. Then it's James Harden. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. And it's Thomas in at the shooting guard position. And for the Hawks, Collins at the four with Capella at center. C.J. McCollum is out there with Trey Young. And it's Reddish in at the three. And Grant, these are two efficient offensive teams. In your experience, how much of that is your roster and how much is strategy and coaching? Well, definitely most of it is talent. But hey, great coaching can make a significant difference unlocking that potential. Now here's Collins. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. Clock at four. The Hawks need to get one up here. Here's Reddish. And the shot no good. A bit short. To the middle. The shot is good by Edwards. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Outside Young. The teardrop, and he gets it to go. Right, how about Trey Young? Even when he's bodied up there, finds a way to collect more points. Harden finds Durant. Shoots over Young. Misses off the left iron. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Now here's Young. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. Can't hit. One for two now. Inside. Here's Claxton. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And a slam dunk by Capella. And when the time is right, Capella can get up there. Great job rising up for the bucket. Pass to Claxton. Harden against Young. They get it back. Second chance effort. To the wing on the left. Here's Thomas. Hits the trifecta. And that's what they Three. want to do. Get him open looks early. For Atlanta, they've gone two of four so far. Harden against Young. For three, McCullum. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And CJ saying, not so fast. I'm not letting you get away from us tonight. There's the return payback three. Harden, the pass to Durant. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul. His first. And a chance here to check out some stats for James Harden. 
And his three-point shot has been off lately. He's had a hard time getting it dialed in this month compared to earlier on in the season. He just needs to ease up and let those shots come to him instead of trying to force it. Now here's McCollum giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game to the inside. And there's Collins on the assist by McCollum. Well, if you go to Lehigh, of course, you're going to make smart plays. McCollum good at sensing when his man was going to be wide open. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Capella. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said... One thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Locking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. And he makes a first. Kind of tough to be a big wing in the LeBron James era. You're constantly compared to what it is he does, but Durant has risen to that challenge and uniquely qualified to be an elite player. Both shots good from the strike. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? Uh, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Collins outside. With the floater. And it's good on the lay-in. Collins has got his second basket. That's the guy you want with the ball inside as Collins' ability to rise up will produce some points. Here's Durant. Durant draws the double, lays it up, and banks it in. A player with his mix of size and speed whew, is definitely rare. Now here's McCollum. He's closely guarded. Fires for three. He drops it from range. McCollum's got six points. Finding some space out there on the perimeter was McCollum, and he finds ways to knock it down. Harden against McCullum. Outside Durant. From the arc. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. He has seven. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's Reddish. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. First team ball. Six on the shot clock. And the Hawks with another three. Well, the coach has confidence in CJ taking that shot. And so CJ has confidence in making it. Harden finds Durant. Capella with a rebound. The Hawks have gone seven of nine. A solid percentage so far. And Young, here we go. And the layup is good off the glass. Such a precise player. When Young notices those kind of openings, he definitely is looking to attack. Pass to Harden. Rebound, Trey Young. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Now Collins, guarded by Edwards. Here's Reddish. And a two-handed jam! Reddish pinballing, fighting his way through the defense, and then finding a way to score. Harden, the pass to Durant. With the drive. Yes! And a nice assist right from Harden. Durant's got nine. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Well, we've talked about shortening the season, Brent. What do you think about the proposal to shorten games? That's an interesting one, B.A. You wonder how the records get affected and uh, what it does to the integrity of the game. Something to think about. Maybe they try it during the summer league to see how that plays out. I don't know if it's going to change anytime soon. Though. Here's Bogdanovich, and it's rejected. 
Left side, Harden. Rejected by a Kongwu. Bogdanovich passes to Johnson. The kick out to Young. And from the field after that one, three for four now. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Brooklyn has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Harden, the pass to Harris. Let's take a look at the seeding for the Eastern Conference with only four games of the regular season remaining. You look at the Hawks. This season has been an absolute dream for them. They're currently at number one as the postseason approaches. And, of course, there's the Nets. They're holding on to the seventh seed. I think for the Nets, it's really been uh, an intriguing year for them. I mean, they work hard. They play gritty. But they're just so inconsistent. I just think if you're on the other side, how much are you looking at that team and saying, we're scared of them? So not a lot of fear from the opposition and what they're bringing to the table. They're good. They compete. But do they have that extra gear? I'm not sure. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring One breakdown shot. for Atlanta. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points One in shot. the paint. Herders checked in for the Hawks. And the Nets also making a change. Bembry's checked in. Atlanta has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Herter with it. Harris on him. Herter can't hit. Brooklyn trailing. Outside Harden. Harris outside. Clock at six. Rejected by a Kong Wu. Here's Herter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Hawks lead by six. Known for being a scorer, Herter is good at staying active and then looking to capitalize inside. Harden with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Harris misses. Okongwu inside. Defended by Brown. Okongwu, no good. For Brooklyn, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Herter. And here comes the break. And he's going for the oop here. On the wing, Harden. Herter defending. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Akongu inside. Batum's on him. And down it goes. Two points. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Last time they met in Brooklyn. And it was an entertaining game, but hard to win when you're inconsistent. The 2K leaderboard shining a light on the league's best three-point shooting teams of late. Number one, Atlanta. Incredible accuracy from deep over the past couple games. Great floor spacing. And of course, their shooters have all the confidence in the world right now. Pass to Bembry. Rejected by a Kongwu. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to a Kongwu. Outside Herder. Shot clock at six. From 13. Bembry grabs the miss. Brooklyn's gone two of three from three point land so far. Takes it inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Team second. At the line, Portland. Jalen Johnson. I count two shots. Two, two. The 
Free throw drops for Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. Here's Harris. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Harden. And then Harden with the jam. Oh, you cannot allow Harden this type of positioning because he's going to dunk all over you when you do. And with Nick Batum, he's a very aware player. Always seems to make the right choice. I mean, he has a great assist to turnover ratio for his entire career. And it seems like he just gets better as he ages. Batum is simply a smart player who keeps things simple. So it's Brooklyn now. After the Hawks picking up a basket just moments ago. A minute 39 left in the first quarter. Pass to Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. Here's Johnson. Here's a Kongwu, pounded by Harris. A Kongwu, no good. Brooklyn has gone two of three from three point land so far. Here's Bembry, and there's the rejection. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Johnson. Here's a Kongwu, pounded by Harris. That's good from a Kongwu on the assist by Johnson. And the Hawks lead by 10. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Harris passes to Harden. There's 37 seconds left in the first. Pulls it. And too long on the shot. Atlanta's gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's Harris with the rebound. And the Nets shooting 43% to get this one underway. Pass to Harden. Trying to get back on track. He's off on that one. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. The Hawks on top, leading by 10. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Hawks guys, what jumps out to you statistically? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. On the court right now, second quarter for the Nets. Nicholas Batum out there with Bruce Brown. Then it's DeAndre Bembry. Then it's James Harden. And it's Thomas in at the two. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Capella in the high post. McCullum outside. There's the triple. Gets the three ball to go. He's got five. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now here's Harden. 
He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. He didn't make it all about himself. His passing was sharp, and he kept everyone involved. Here's Collins. This is the most they've led, 13 points. And there's the lob, and then it's Collins with the dunk. Oh, that connection with Collins, that's an impressive play. And a very, very high percentage. Pass to Harden. The shot won't fall. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Harden. So versatile on offense, averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. Here's Bembry. Pass to Brown. A shot to stop the run. Nice jump shot. Brown's got five points. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Outside Johnson. Capella against Brown. Jacks up a three. It doesn't go for him. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. That's a game they know they probably could have won. And had a few more things gone their way, they would have. Uh, maybe should have. The score doesn't indicate just how well they competed in that game for the majority of it. It looked like the better team. Here's McCollum. After the basket by Brooklyn. Shoots over Harden. It's good on the putback. Capella! Refusing to give up on the glass. Capella truly works for his rebounds. Time out calls the Nets. A popular phrase in the NBA circles has become rim runner. Basically, centers that live in the paint on both ends of the floor, guys who rack up rebounds and easy buckets. Clint Capella might be the best in the league at rim running. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Up top, Durant. Collins defending. And the Nets miss again. Well, when you look at the numbers of Capella, Grant, you see a guy who knows his role. I love it. I mean, Clint never attempts threes. He's not looking to stretch the floor. A career 60-plus percentage shooter, Clint lives on dunks and putbacks, and he's always among the league leaders in rebounding. He's just a force down low. And Brooklyn has possession. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Good timing defensively. Collins just up there, the long arms, and quick off the deck. Pass to Capella. Second shot opportunity. And he takes it up and lays it in. Capella's got six. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Harden against Young. Outside Durant. Throws it up high. alley -oop up top. Hammer at home. Yeah, Kevin knows when he can score, so he waits. Make sure that somebody else doesn't have a better shot before he does that. Good play there. Collins right side. Harden against Young. Back to McCollum. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Durant. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear. But he hasn't had a lot of support. Young against Harden. High post Young. Six points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Claxton. Outside Harden. Pass to Durant. Tipped away. McCollum with a steal. Here's Reddish. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. And it was a great chance to finish on the break. And he flubs it. Completely lost focus. You can't get two steps ahead. Now here's Harden. 
Back to Duran. Over Collins. And again, it's the Nets missing. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Young on the attack. Kevin Durant pulls it in. For Brooklyn, they've gone 4 of 10 from the field in the second. Edwards can't get a second shot to fall. Now 1 of 2. Atlanta's gone 1 of 2 from downtown here in the second. Looking to end the drought. Collins, no good. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Pass to Thomas. Oh, nice D from McCollum. The Hawks have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Collins finds Young. Soft touch off the glass. Young's got eight. Well, the performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Timeout called. The Nets. And the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, in more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. And I did a pretty good job. Akangwu checks in for the Hawks. Herder comes in for McCullum. Here's Reddish. A 14-point game for him in the win against Orlando. Here's Capella. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First team foul. At the line for Atlanta. Clint Capella. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. And he ends up missing both free throws. Well, the Nets shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. And he lobs it up! I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Young finds Bogdanovich. Here's a Kung Wu. Right now averaging five and a half a game. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of it, making that happen, Grant. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa, it's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. Now here's Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Bogdan Bogdanovich. First team foul. At line for the next. Joe Harris. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And Harris drops them both. Atlanta has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. 
Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Now here's Harden. Pass to Durant. Five on the clock from outside the arc. Knocks down the long J. Durant's got 14 points. KD sets up those crossovers as a big seven-footer. He handles the ball so well. And that's a great decision out of the pick and roll set. <laughs> I just love that alley oop slam, BA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Harden, the pass to Durant. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Johnson. Oh, it's stolen away. Pass to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Uh, this is what Durant does best, a natural-born scorer, and that combination of size, speed, and length can't slow it down. Now here's Herter. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Here's Young. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. The Nets have gotten seven of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Pass to Harden. Looking to get back on track. Rebounded by Johnson. A bit shocking that he has not registered one made field goal in the quarter, guys. From 12 feet. Johnson with the defensive effort. Atlanta's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. Got to have good court awareness. And it was on display right there from Bogdanovich. Pass to Durant. They double team Durant. And the shot goes down. Durant's got nine points now in the quarter. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Time out, time and you look out. at Harden's endurance, able to give 100% night in and night out. And he plays as many minutes as you need. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. You know, Grant, watching Harden, he always seems to be an attack player. And he's consistent about it too, B.A. A lot of guys are aggressive in spurts. Harden is looking to make the play every moment he's on the floor. So both teams making some changes here. One twenty-seven left in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's a Kongwu. The rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got six rebounds in the game. Outside Harden. Here's Claxton. Eight points in his last timeout. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Now here's Young. On the take. Called in by Brown. Brooklyn has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. And he lobs it up to the rim. Here's Bembry. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming this way. Shooting for Brooklyn, DeAndre Bembry at the line for two. First free throw is good. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing what they can to try to build some momentum. And he makes both free throws. For one opportunity if they can time it right. Great way to end the quarter. Pass to Young. Here's the teardrop. The rebound by the Nets. Yeah, just hold for the last shot. Don't give them another possession at all. Yeah, hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. 
Harden with it. From deep three-point range. The shot comes out. And that concludes the first half. The Hawks on top. Up eight. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. Clint, an outstanding first half for this team at the defensive end of the floor. What was the key? Just be consistent. Uh, defensive rebounding was one of our keys tonight. And uh, it's just the start, so we're going to try to stay locked in on it. We know this is our key in our transition to, to make a stop here and run. So we're just going to keep going. Back to you guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. A tremendous start for C.J. McCollum. He had 11 points, four assists, and one rebound. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Hawks' first half. The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every possession count. Kenny, what's your take on Brooklyn so far? We've seen a lack of focus and control for them. They've wasted a number of possessions by turning the ball over. It's simple. The score should be closer if they will protect the rock and make the smart play. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Brooklyn trailing. Collins at the four with Capella at center. Trey Young out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Reddish in at the three. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Harden. Sweet little floater. Harden's gotten his second bucket of the game. Inside Harden is such a tough cover. You know he's clever enough to turn any good defense into a foul. Back to McCollum. Pass to Capella. Here's Reddish. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Hawks lead by eight. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Now here's Capella. A good look from Young with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. Young's got 12. And now the defense full attention and antennas up. Trey Young getting warm. Harden, the pass to Durant. They double team Durant. Count it. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Here's Young. After the basket by Brooklyn. And it's Capella with the jam. So unselfish there. Young doing a good job of finding the open man. Young against Harden. Down low. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Harden's got four points this quarter. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Young. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. I'm not sure what the coach said at halftime, but whatever it did, it's lit a fire. They're now four of four from the field to start their offense here in the second half. To the middle. Claxton can't get it to go. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. And Reddish gets it to go. He's got six. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. It's good. James Harden. This is Harden at his best. 
driving, fighting through contact. He enjoys overcoming these challenges. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. McCullum, pass to Collins. Pass to Young. Kicks it out to Collins. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got four assists now tonight. <laughs> and they've come out of halftime really on a roll. Timeout, timeout. timeout called. Brooklyn. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy. And I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Outside Durant. Outside for Harden. Durant against McCullum. They double team Durant. Three pointer. Harden connects from downtown. Harden's got nine points now in the quarter. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Now here's Collins. He's got 10. Young, the pass to McCollum. Over Edwards. Again, Atlanta. When you give CJ that kind of shot, and he's going to knock it down. He'll exploit the defense all night long. Young against Harden. Pass to Thomas. Launches a three. And the Nets another three. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Collins against Edwards. Outside Young. Going inside. Clock at six. And Harden with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Harden. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Bogdanovich has checked in for Trey Young. Batum has checked in for Brooklyn. Brown comes in for Durant. Four on the clock. From deep. That won't go either for Collins. Brooklyn has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Nails it from three. And now just a five-point Hawks lead. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Edwards against McCollum. Outside Bogdanovich. McCollum against Edwards. Here's Capella. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And Brooklyn called for the foul. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Atlanta. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. The other impressive part about their Take offense tonight has been their ability to get inside off the bounce. Lots of points in there. That one's off. And he sinks the second. Brooklyn with the ball. They trail by six. Pass to Harden. Here's Thomas. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. No good on the shot. And Brooklyn will go the other way with it. 
Here's Batum. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Harden drives in. Pass to Thomas. Takes a three. Collins with the rebound. For Atlanta, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's McCollum. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Team second. Well, McCollum is pretty deft at changing speeds, and that time he did it driving to the rim. I count two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for McCollum. A lot of questions in the early part of C.J. McCollum's career about could he become a valuable scorer in the league and really what position would he play. But after being the 10th overall pick in 2013, uh, he's answered those questions. Akangwu checks in for the Hawks. Johnson comes in for Collins, and McCollum drops them both. Brooklyn has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Pass to Thomas. Over Bogdanovich. Rebound Atlanta. Akongwu's got four rebounds now. And here's Johnson. Now here's McCollum. 15 points in the game. Shot clock at six. Here's Bogdanovich. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Bogdanovich has got his first two points of the night. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Bembry. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Shooting for Brooklyn. DeAndre Bembry. Taking two shots. He's off on the first. And the Hawks make it a change here. Herder's checked in. He's good on the second. The Hawks have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Bogdanovich. To the inside. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. He's got seven. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Harris outside. Kick out to Brown. Here's Bembry to the left side wing. Here's Thomas driving to the basket. And the layup falls. Thomas has got five points now in the quarter. And that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Johnson passes to Bogdanovich. Over Harris. Misses off the right iron. Brooklyn has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Batum. Harris with it. Driving inside. And Harris throws it down. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. with a big dunk of his own. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Here's Thomas. Ten points for him. Right side Johnson. Outside Herter. Pass to Bogdanovich. Fires the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got six rebounds now in the game. 
Here's Bembry. He's got five. That one doesn't drop. Outside Herter. Now Bogdanovich. And he lobs it up top. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Well, Bogdanovich can score, but where he gets real dangerous is when he becomes a playmaker like that. This one for three. The rebound by the Hawks. The Kung has got six rebounds in the game. Outside Herter. Outside Bogdanovich. Oh, stolen by Harris. One forty-three left in the third quarter here. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At line for the next. Joe Harris. Two shots. Free throw drops for Harris. Reddish is checked in for the Hawks. Trey Young comes in for Herter. And Harris drops them both. The Hawks leading. Here's Young. Into the lane. Hey, hangs in midair and converts the double clutch layup. Young's got 16. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Harris outside. Over Young. They grab their own miss. And it's good. Camera Two down. points. Thomas has got seven now in this quarter. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Pass to Young. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. Brooklyn's gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. The three. Here's Harris. Gets the three to fall. Nine points in the game. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Shoot from the elbow. Pass to Reddish. From deep. And the three-pointer goes. He's just got such a nice, easy release on the three-ball. Reddish not looking rushed. Harris outside. Three seconds left. Hits the front of the rim and out. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And so in the game for the Nets, they've got Kevin Durant. He's out there with Nicholas Claxton. James Harden out there with Bruce Brown. And it's Thomas in at the two. Now here's Young. Six on the shot clock. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And that's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Atlanta. Number 45, 
at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Harden. Outside Durant. Inside. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Harden fires away from outside. The rebound by the Hawks. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Young against Brown. 13 feet out. No good. A bit long that time. Brooklyn has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Durant. Harden with it. And the call will be against John Collins. That's his first foul of the game. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. And a change for the Nets. Edwards is checked in. Outside Durant. And Durant with the big finish. Well, maybe not the highest of flyers, Durant, but because of his reach, it's so easy for him to win above the rim. Back to Young. Just five on the clock. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. Trey Young not backing down from the physical defense on that play. Here's Thomas, guarded by Young. Outside Harden. And he's going for the lob! Nicholas Claxton. Atlanta's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Harden against Young. The shot off that time. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Outside Durant. Harden finds Durant. Durant draws the double. And here's Edwards outside. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got four assists in the game. Over the course of KD's career, more and more, he's been asked to facilitate, and that makes him more unpredictable. And guess what? More dangerous. Kicks it out to Collins. Out to the wing. Guarded by Edwards. Goes back up. Oh, good D by Edwards. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Here's Claxton. And they converted last on attempt number three. And now just a four-point Hawks lead. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And Young, here we go. Shoots over Harden. Oh, no good again that time. Here's Edwards. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. At line for the next. At the line for two. And falls for him. The Hawks making a switch here. McCollum's checked in. And 
And both free throws good for Edwards. The Hawks have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. There's Young with the three. Knocks it down from distance. Young's got 11 points here in the second half. Trey Young so fun to watch that smooth stroke. Pass to Durant. Poke loose. Stolen by Young. With the putback. Claxton with a rebound. Stolen by Capella. Now here's McCollum. Here's Reddish. Back to McCollum. Banked it in off the glass. And now a seven-point Atlanta lead. I feel like the team right now is accepting the fact that C.J. McCollum is on fire, so they're looking for him on possessions in the half court. Now here's Durant. Shoots over Capella. Nice shot by Durant. Durant's got four points this quarter. Kevin Durant simply one of the game's greatest scorers of all time. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. And over and back. Now Harden. Pass to Edwards. To the paint. Here's Claxton. Capella with a block. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. Kevin Durant. That's foul number two for him. Team second. So it's Atlanta now. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. McCollum on the left side. That shot is off. Brooklyn has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Three. Now just a two-point Hawks lead. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both. But gets close. He's getting the ball. Oh, I'll tell you what, in this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. Harden, the pass to Edwards. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. And here's McCollum. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Hey, yo, how about Harden, Harden? Right wing. As bad as that. Harden against Young. The game now all tied up. Time out, time out. Harden's got 11 points here in the second half. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, James Harden. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on Nate McMillan's huddle. He told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. He understands the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. Great work, Allie. Thanks. The Hawks have gotten 5 of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Capella can't get it to go. Brooklyn has gone 2 of 3 from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Young against Harden. Knocks it loose. Now here's Durant. The D's right on him. Good. Durant's got 6 here in the quarter. Atlanta's gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Pass to McCullum. Capella in the high post. It's blocked. Inside. Here's Edwards. Here's Claxton. Help me, help me. 
Clock at six. Outside Harden to take the lead. Rebound Atlanta. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Up top, Capella. There's McCullough with the three. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Thomas. McCullum defends. Claxton. Oh, the go-ahead bucket. No good. Atlanta's got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Oh, there's the alley. And it's Capella with the jam. Sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. Outside Edwards. Pass to Durant. And he drives in. And he banks in the layup. Durant's got 10 points here in the second half. They have no answer defensively inside. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And the Hawks' shooting has been good, around 52% from the field. Young against Edwards. Young misses. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Outside Harden. And there's the lob. It's rare that one of the game's yes. best scores is also one of the best playmakers. Harden does it all at the offensive end. Collins outside. Here's Reddish, guarded by Durant. Back to Collins. McCullum with it. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. And the Hawks with possession here. Here's McCollum. And it's Thomas with the rebound. Here's Brooklyn. They're on a 15-6 run. Count the basket. And now a four-point Brooklyn lead. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Well, there's an ebb and flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. And Harden with the block. A minute 39 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Claxton. The kick out to Edwards. Six to shoot. Up top, Harden. Guarded by Young. Harden misses. Atlanta's gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Outside, Young. Down low. And there's Capello. That one's good. On the assist from Young. Oh, Capello. I mean, he's not his team's top scoring option, but he makes plays when he needs to. Now here's Durant. Pass to Edwards. Back to Durant. Driving in. And no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. To the inside. Collins, no good. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the middle. Pass to McCullum. The kick out to Young. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, well, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the top. And they go to the intentional foul. And that's his first personal foul. Team Forbes. Up live for the next. Cameron Thomas. Taking three shots. So the first one drops. 
And that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're losing by four. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? Score quick, then foul. Then you have to hope for some missed free throws. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Pass to Reddish. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Cameron Thomas at the line for two. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and... That, uh, that's unfortunate. This one belongs to Brooklyn. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kevin, that was a pretty road win. How do you evaluate your performance? Um, it's a tough place to play. You know, you hear the crowd. It was, it was loud as soon as we stepped on the floor. So, you know, we're just trying to uh, play our brand of basketball and just keep growing. The crowd had nothing on you, though. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Alec. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you later.